Hello everyone and welcome to episode 9 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. Just have a few things I want to uh, chat about today. Uh, first off, I want to say congratulations to Jeannie Ernst for being our episode 8 contest winner. Um, she's been hosting Link down in Information Systems for the past couple weeks. In fact, he's been spending a lot of time down in Information Systems. Uh, over eight weeks he's been down there. You know, first it was uh, the episode, Evelyn Tompkins was our episode one contest winner, and then Jason Sandusky was the episode two contest winner, and then Charlie Crawford, he was the winner for episode seven, and now Jeannie Ernst. So I think Leek would really like to kind of explore the rest of the campus, so everyone stay tuned uh, Monday afternoon for the episode nine question. Uh, and maybe Link can uh, head over to another department and, and explore other areas of the campus. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about uh, was our, is our data cleanup process in the project. Um, I mentioned last week that uh, Enrollment Services has been working on the student uh, biographic demographic data and that's uh, pretty much complete. And uh, I recently sent error reports out to the Human Resources Department and uh, Mark Linder and Brian Lanier have been working really hard to clean up that data, which I believe is now complete. Uh, so I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who's been working hard on cleaning up that data and making sure we have good data that goes into the PeopleSoft environment. Uh, it's been a lot of work, I know, um, but it's much appreciated. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about, it relates to data conversion, and that is the data validation process, which is going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, on October 21st, the state uh, CTC Link team will be doing its first major data uh, conversion into the new PeopleSoft system, the new environment. And so what they're going to be converting uh, this go round is going to be the uh, student and employee biographic demographic data. They're going to be migrating uh, class data and position information on employees as well as vendor information. And so they're going to move that data over first and they're going to kind of go in through the system, make sure the data converted uh, appropriately, everything came over th that they expected to come over, and make any uh, adjustments that they may need and, and just kind of look through that data. And then three weeks later, um, they'll be contacting um, data validators on our campus to kind of go through and start validating the data. And so the key here will be to um, you know, look through the system and this will be the first opportunity uh, staff will have had to kind of have a hands-on in the PeopleSoft environment. So the state CTC link team will be, um, will be kind of walking staff through the process of how to validate and how to find and validate the data in PeopleSoft. Uh, but people will need to kind of go through and really just look at about one to three percent of the data because we won't be able to kind of verify, validate every single piece of data that goes through. So we need to take samples and kind of look at the sample data. And so, um, next couple days, I'll be shooting uh, some emails out to our uh, pillar leads to help me identify the data validators that will be um, working in this part of the process. And then, uh, three weeks later, um, the state team should be setting up some uh, WebEx sessions so that they can walk people through um, the PeopleSoft system and how to locate the data and work through that validation process. So it's pretty exciting. It'll be our first uh, hands-on into the new PeopleSoft environment and uh, it should be pretty interesting. And that's all I have uh, this time around. Um, but please stay tuned uh, Monday afternoon for the uh, episode nine question. So maybe we can get Link somewhere into a different department on campus, hopefully. And um, and if you have any questions for me, uh, don't hesitate to give me a call, shoot me an email, or stop by the office. I'm in 16224. Thanks a lot.